Before starting your work shift, make it a habit to do a walk around and check the machine without the engine running. This is important for safety. See that the teeth are in working order and that there are no leaks or damaged hoses at the linkage and that the tires are in good condition. Look at the sight glasses to check that the hydraulic and transmission oil are within the acceptable ranges. Many sites are dusty, so make sure the radiator is clean and that no material is lodged in the radiator fan. Turn on the main battery switch. When entering the cab, make sure that you use a three-point contact. This means that you always have at least three contact points consisting of two hands and one foot, or two feet and one hand. The cab ladder, service platforms and steps are slip protected and there are plenty of handles around the cab for increased safety. Make sure that you use the handrails to obtain three-point contact at all times. Make sure that the parking brake is applied and that the gear is in neutral. Turn the ignition key to position one. The machine's pre-start check must be allowed to finish. If the machine is equipped with an optional anti-theft system, you must enter the necessary code on the keypad. Adjust the steering wheel and operator seat so that you have a good working position. Check the rear view mirrors, adjust if necessary. Make sure the horn is working properly. Before you start the engine, don't forget to fasten the seat belt. Now, turn the ignition key to position three and release it once the engine starts. The display will provide the operator with information regarding the machine's status. Here, you'll find information regarding levels for engine oil, hydraulic oil, and transmission oil, among other things. Make it a habit to check this before start of operation. The display has two alarm levels and one info level. The blue information is used to inform the operator about lower prioritized things. The yellow warning light means that the cause must be investigated when the machine next stops. The red warning light means that the machine must shut down immediately and the cause investigated. Turn on the headlights, optional work lights and the rotating beacon if required. Make sure that all lights are working correctly. Adjust the climate control to a preferred temperature in the cab. Apply the service brakes. Release the parking brake and put the gear selector into the forward position. Finally, lift the bucket and drive away. The cab of the Volvo wheel loader is a safe working environment. It's designed in accordance with ROPS, Rollover Protective Structure, and FOPS, Falling Object Protective Structure, standards. There are two emergency exits, the door to the left and the right-hand side window. In an emergency situation, use the emergency hammer to break the emergency exit window. It can also be used to cut the seat belt. If the wheel loader rolls over, hold on to the steering wheel. Do not try to leave the cab until the machine has come to a complete stop. To reduce the risk of condensation in the tanks, fill up the fuel and the AdBlue DEF tank.
when parking. Use the service brakes to bring the wheel loader to a complete stop. Put the gear selector into the neutral position and apply the parking brake. Let the engine cool down, running at low idle speed until the symbol Engine Shutdown Permitted is shown. Meanwhile, turn off the lights. Turn off the engine and step out of the machine. Before leaving the machine, switch off the battery disconnector relay. Make it a habit to do a walk around and check the machine without the engine running. The cab ladder, service platforms and steps are slip protected. When seated, adjust the steering wheel and operator seat so that you have a good working position. Don't forget to fasten the seat belt. The display will provide the operator with information regarding the machine's status. There are two emergency exits, the door to the left and the right-hand side window. When parking, let the engine cool down until the symbol is shown running at low idle speed. Fill up the fuel and add blue def tank at the end of the shift. This will reduce the risk of condensation in the tank.